Well, well, well. I, well, well, well. Like I was saying. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, I've been procrastinating this movement tutorial. A lot of you have been waiting for it and asking me for it, blowing up my comments every single day. As always, I will be going through a bunch of things that you probably should know and that you probably do not know at all. Even if you're a good player, you could probably learn something new. I learn something new every single day. And I say I'm a pretty decent player myself. But without further ado, here's the complete Warzone 3 movement guide, plus a little bit of tips and a little bit of tricks. So here you go. Enjoy the video. Okay, so there will be about five categories of movement tips and movement tricks, and I also will be showing examples of each one of these movement tactics. So with that being said, the first will be zipline movement. The second will be door bashing. Oh my god, nigga, I got shell shock. The third will be stem movement. The fourth will be rooftop parachuting. And the fifth will be tax sprint and slide canceling. You need your camera back. Why do they always just start meleeing? All right, so the first and foremost thing that I'm going to talk about in this tutorial is the zip line movement, which is probably the most requested movement and everybody always asks me how I'm doing it. So the first thing I wanna show you is how to actually get up the zip line fast instead of just, you know, grabbing it slow, just like this and hopping up like a bot. So all you have to do is just jump once and then double tap the square button or whatever you use to interact. If you're on keyboard, press E, whatever. So you wanna jump and then you get up there faster, right? So what I do most of the time, 90% of the time is I go up here, I jump off and I grab this thing and I'm already on top. So other times you can just jump off a little early and you know, just grab this. And sometimes you could just land straight right here and just go. All right, so step two to the zip line movement. All you have to do is so step two for the zipline movement, I'm gonna just call this one apex movement because <laughs> it's just like the, the shit that you do is just, you just basically just grabbing it over and over again and doing the same thing. So how you do this is you just wanna let go of the zipline after I showed you, I already showed you guys what to do. So you wanna double interact, jump off, and then you wanna just grab it again, like right here. So if you wanna go flying for your first time, you just wanna let it go fast and then just spam jump and you'll go higher. And this is what it look like if I'm just, you know, playing around with it. Jump down, jump back up, over and over again. It's pretty simple. So you can actually use these zip lines to rotate as well. So what I like to do, whenever I see a zip line, there's no cars around, I just hop on it, jump off, pop a parachute and you know, just rotate. It's just a little uh, rotation tactic that you guys can use on any zip line. But that's pretty much it for the zip line movement. Oh, let me kill this guy. I'm about to break it. <laughs> Arise. Arise. <laughs> Arise. Arise, my nigga. Oh, another, another one behind me, behind me, behind me. Arise, bitch ass nigga. 
Let's talk about stem movement. When it comes to just being a movement player, or just having movement in general, most of the time, 90% of the time, 95% of the time, someone, you're gonna always wanna have stems. Stems can get you out of sticky situations, whether you're like one shot and you need to slide past somebody to kill them immediately, or you're just trying to break somebody's camera, you know, get some fancy little clips or something. But as you all know, or if you probably don't know, stems have a little like half second delay before it actually gets to working. So whenever you're in a situation to where you wanna pop your stem, you always wanna pre-pop it so you get that one and a half second time of, of extra movement speed so for example if you're behind a wall and you know someone's behind that wall you want to pop your stem about a second early before you actually push out so you get the maximum movement speed and if you guys did not know this game has a bit of desync so that basically means the person that is looking for you won't actually see you until like a few frames later that you pop out of the door so you can basically just pop out of the door with your stem and if you know exactly where they are you'll probably 99% of the time kill them before they can even recognize that you're in their screen all right so another important thing that I'm pretty sure nobody will ever talk to you about is actually the door bash. Nobody ever talks about the door bash. It's probably one of the most useful mechanics when you're actually running away from somebody. So, all right, so with the door bash movement, it's pretty simple. It's probably the number one tactic to actually get away from a gunfight or if you just want to reach out somebody. So, so all you want to do is say this guy is chasing me. I run through the door, shut the door go back out he's already in he doesn't know where i am at all so from his pov he just doesn't even know what the fuck is going on and it can also work vice versa if you hear a, a full team running up and you know <laughs> wait <laughs> let's just let this guy go just go right in after them and they'll never expect it yeah get this guy. got one. Oh. well uh ggs so the rooftop parachuting is actually really, really, really simple. The only thing you have to do is right before you leave the ledge, you want to dolphin dive and pull your parachute at the exact same time. So that way it comes out instantly and you can stay like, and you could just stay higher and you could just go higher than you actually would if you were to just jump off. It's really useful when you're crossing rooftops, especially if you play Vondel. A lot of people don't do this and a lot of people don't know about it. So this might be something that you just never heard of before. It's also really useful for good rotations and fast rotations when you're actually running from a team or running from the storm. So yeah, I just thought I'd throw this in there considering i haven't seen nobody else talk about it at all oh by the way you guys are probably wondering like if i'm gonna cover specific things but a lot of things i did not cover specifically because i already made a movement guide about a month ago with pretty much everything else that i did not cover so if you guys do feel like you're missing anything or you need more tips on anything like slide canceling snaking or any of that just go down to the link in the description i will link the other video with all those other steps perfectly described for you guys to where you can understand so just want to put that out there real quick so yeah this part i just want to let you guys know this part of the video is just a bunch of tips and tricks about like just basic shit that you should know so if you already know all this bs then just skip it i'm basically just going to be showing you guys basic movement and you know what to do in certain situations and you know just how to do it in general so i'm gonna need you guys to listen up it's pretty simple if you know how to play controller or you know how to play keyboard or you just know how to play the game in general it should be pretty easy for you so everybody knows the basic slide cancel but in this game uh, the slide cancel doesn't refresh your tax man so there's no point of just spamming it at all don't spam it one thing I want you guys to do is know when you're going to run out of tax print. Like you should just always know when you're gonna run out of tax print. This is basically just how you get infinite tax print. You just always should know when you're gonna run out. So in certain situations, you just don't even need to run for that long. Just hit a slide cancel, crouch or something, you know? The only way you run out of tax print if you just keep running over and over again like this and just just don't do anything else. I'm also gonna give you guys a little bit of left right movement tips. If you watch my last movement tutorial, you already know what I'm talking about. So instead of just doing the normal left right movement like this, I want you guys to add like a slide cancel into the mix of it. So for example, if you do run a shotgun, you're a pussy, but if you do run it, you can actually integrate this this movement perfectly with it. So say if someone's right here, you just boom, boom slide cancel right. pretty easy they'll probably have a hard time trying to hit you oh yeah i almost forgot to mention that with this center dot you can actually go into your interface settings right here and look for a crosshair you can actually turn your crosshairs off and add the center dot i personally like the uh smallest one it just looks way better for me so if you use a, something like a shotgun or anything that requires hip firing it's, it's really easy because it's just a simple little circle i already know someone's gonna ask me about it so i just wanted to mention it real quick oh yeah and i'm gonna go i'm gonna just go ahead and bless you guys with the settings real quick because i already know people are gonna ask me about it so here you go all my settings my controller settings just pause that video i'm gonna just go through these really fast um yeah all right i'm gonna show you guys my graphic settings i just basically have everything on low everything low as possible so yeah there you go take it i don't i don't care just take it take it have it you can have it 
You're probably wondering if this is it, but yeah, it's pretty much it. But I told you guys that everything that I did not cover in this video is in my old video. So I really recommend you guys go and watch that video. Link is in the description once again. And if you guys did find this video helpful or you guys did just like the video in general, go ahead and drop bird balls down in the comment section for me so I can give it a heart. And I know you watched the video to the end. But without further ado, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm probably live on Twitch right now, so link will be in the description. But I'm done yapping. Enjoy your days or nights or whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.